Hello and welcome to week four of DMK301. The topic for this week is law and the impacts to website experiences and email marketing. For website marketing law, there are a few key elements that are important to understand that overall consumers want to feel they can trust the website they're on, feel secure, that their information is not being shared or leaked, and overall that there's an element of the advertising being given to them that's in compliance with advertising law. First, cybersecurity. One simple way to protect consumer privacy when you collect information to use is security mechanisms such as SSL. SSL means that the connection between your website and the user's browser is secure when data is transmitted. Ensure that any website you use with your customers has SSL enabled. This ensures that the customer, when you're marketing to them and providing them a website experience, feels that they have a secure mechanism. That's the HTTPS colon slash slash. That's what this is all about. If you don't have this parameter, you may have an opportunity that's going to be challenging for consumers to trust you and build a customer acquisition or retention efforts. Another potential security issue is the storage of customer data. A popular way for many online businesses and marketing companies to store data is to use cloud storage providers. To reassure your customers that you're keeping their data safe, always choose a reputable provider. More and more customers are becoming more savvy with the fact that cloud storage is a thing. You know, when cloud became available in the mid or in the early 2010s, it became a, a thing of, do we trust this? It's in a cloud, it's not on a server or a hard drive. However, though, the cloud is becoming more and more acceptable. However, the provider of that cloud storage needs to be someone or a company that has a good track record and trust in the market. Because then at the end of the day, what you're really doing with cybersecurity is building consumer trust. You need to build consumer trust so they can feel comfortable going on your website to conduct their business with you. For more about consumer information and data privacy, in the US, there is, there is no overarching, over, overarching privacy act or law that applies to the collection of data. However, there are some that we previously mentioned in this class. The Calif in California, they implemented the California Online Privacy Protection Act. And in that kind of state, it requires that you need to disclose the following, the kinds of information your website or online marketing tactics collected, how the information may be shared, the process your customers can follow to review and change the information you have about them, or your policies effective date and description of any changes since then. Overall, in California, if there's a business in California that a customer is doing online business with, customers have a right to know how it's being used. They have a, they have a right to stop it being used. And overall, all the parameters about the, the information and collection of their information. This is just one start in California, but a lot of companies are based in California and there's a, a big population of California customers. This could be a spark for other states or the country at whole to develop more privacy laws. So it's something as a digital marketer we need to keep an eye on as we move forward because we use that customer profile information for segmentation in a way to market and speak to them. One thing web and email advertising has in common is advertising law. The FTC requires that advertisements and marketing message must not mislead consumers or unfairly affect consumers behavior or decisions about the product or service. Unfair or deceptive advertising is prohibited, which means that any marketing must tell the truth and not leave out any relevant information that a consumer would be interested in. Overall, we want to protect ourselves from the notion that we have false advertising. We cannot be untruthful about the product or service we're selling. We must tell the truth about what it is. We must be able to be accountable if we market something that isn't valid. And overall, we, we definitely don't want to manipulate or wrongly influence our customers into something they believe in that isn't true. For the email piece of it, email advertising still follows the same fundamental advertising laws as websites based on the content we provide. But there's one more aspect that's called the anti-spam law. In this, for email advertising, here are the parameters that we must follow for the anti-spam law. Don't use false or misleading header information. That's the header, that's the top title area and overall header that says what the email is all about. It must be correct and truthful information. Don't use deceptive subject lines. Subject lines need to be the thing that is the copyright responsibility where that subject line needs to have truthful, can be creative, it can definitely be a, a good flair of satire or have something that drives 
you know, a, a hook to get customers interested, but the information itself must not be deceptive. For example, if we use the word sale, but we don't have a sale, then that's a problem in the subject line to the advertisement. Identify the message as an ad. We need to be clear about the fact that this is an advertisement when we're sending a email marketing campaign. You need to tell recipients where you're located. This can be as simple as having at the very bottom of the page your corporate headquarters uh, physical address, but we need to make sure customers feel that it is a valid email that's not a phishing attempt either from a cybersecurity perspective. Tell recipients how to opt out of receiving future emails from you. We need to be legally compliant on how we allow customers to opt in and opt out. If they no longer wish to receive email advertising from you as a company, then therefore you need to give them the ability to opt out and opt or out requests promptly. It needs to be almost immediate. You can't do it and have the opportunity to opt out and then still receive future email marketing. And lastly, monitor what others are doing on your behalf. You need to monitor the types of email marketing that's going on out there and the types of email advertising that's also based on referrals and other companies that email on your behalf. So overall, we need to be legally compliant from an advertising perspective. We also need to be legally compliant from an overall email skill perspective. Thank you for your time and I wish you a great week.